Because Chinese Communist Party destroyed the culture that we are proud of, every Chinese are proud of. They destroyed it. They burned Mao's in Cultural Revolution. They destroyed oaths, four oaths, the habits, the custom, the traditions, and um, what's the other one? The four oaths. They burned all the books. They burned all the um, uh, uh, historical relics, and they basically uh, wreck havoc the entire country. Okay, so that's the Communist Party thugs, and he knew it, but he lied on the world stage. He tried to whitewash the Chinese government, uh, 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 Chinese Communist Party, and give them a legitimate uh, stance on world stage. And also, his phrasing is like shameless. Like in Beijing, he would say it's the most sophisticated, clear-headed, and sentimental and an emotional analysis of foreign policy. What does that mean? Or is he trying to say they're a psychopath, a social pass? I don't know, but this guy, I have to tell you, after he left, after I read into him, I think, you know, he is probably one of the worst, um, uh, worst person in the West. Um, I, I was surprised in terms of his history when I dig into him. But in 1982, he established his own business, and it's named after his own name. It's called Kissinger Associates. Okay, it's a company. And he's starting um, becoming the foreign uh, uh, policy advisor for many mega companies, okay, huge companies and Chinese companies. But in 1977, when he left the administration, finished his assignment as a, as a secretary of state, he actually described in his own memoir, he's uh, loaded with debts because he's, he's highest salary in administration serving as a public servant is $63,000. Okay, it's not a lot of money. And and he, he actually, in his resume said he's, he's debt ridden. OK, he, he tried many jobs. He wrote books. He delivered speech. He even become a salesperson selling those uh, minted um, uh, gold and silver uh, medallion for historical figures. OK, so he tried everything and he was broke basically at that time. And, and then suddenly 1982, he started his own business and start selling his influence. And then his position on China start changed.